We welcome you to our regular home improvement Crestview State Championship recap show alongside Mark Kuntz. I'm Andy Lynch with Jeremy Best, the coach of the year and state champion in Division 4. There he is, nice and close. <laughs> and then we also have Damian Helm, uh, Division 4 co, 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 co player of the yeah. year and also state champion. Coach, uh, 72 hours have passed now or so. You know, what was this last three days been like for you and for your team? Um, well, I haven't seen much of our team, you know, since, since Saturday. <laughs> so that's been different. That's been a little with, withdrawal, I'll be honest with you. Um, um, I, I guess that's something I didn't really think a lot about, to be quite honest with you, until Sunday when I thought, well, Monday we're, we're not really going to do anything with these guys <laughs> again. So that kind of set in. Yeah. Um, but no, it, it's been a, re a really cool feeling. Uh, going back to school on, on Sunday, I really didn't leave the house much. I just kind of <laughs> caught up on some sleep and touch base back with my family again, but uh, Monday and then today at school have been a lot of fun. You know, our, our community and, and school community is still buzzing and uh, it, it's a pretty neat feeling. Damien, we, we know how much Convoy, we know how much Wren loves you guys. Are you worried at all that uh, the fire department's not going to have any budget left after having all these <laughs> fire truck uh, welcome homes? Yeah, that's what we were wondering. We were hoping, uh, was it Saturday night, we were hoping there wasn't a fire because <laughs> I think everyone was uh, coming back to watch us come through, but yeah, I mean, it's just great knowing that we have the support of all those communities. I mean, I, everybody was out there supporting us at the game and then coming back for the welcome home is just great. Coach, last year, lost in the district semifinals over to Elida, and I remember broadcasting the game and saying, this team, they've got a future. A lot of these guys are back, only graduating Ream and, and maybe a couple others. When did the, the pace get set for this year? Was it right after that game? Was it a couple weeks later? Yeah, interesting enough, it, it was. It was it was that exact same night. You know, we, we had a lot of um, a lot of a lot of emotion in the locker room that particular night, and, and I think it was a couple of reasons. I think our, our returning guys um, had an attachment to our graduating seniors, and but they also knew that. Um, you know, and I think that this following year was going to be their last year, and, mm. and they wanted, I think right there, it kind of set home with them that last year as juniors that it's time for us to turn the page, and, and, and maybe we can, um, you know, you, you, don't, you don't expect to be a state champion. I mean, you dream about it, mm -hmm. you think about it, but uh, to put it into action as we did this year, uh, was, uh, I give a lot of credit to our seniors because... Um, uh, they, they believed it and bought into that mentality and, and started right then and there and carried into the summer and in, into our workouts and into the season. To go 29-0, and 0, is that, was it an easy 29-0 and 0 or a difficult 29-0? <laughs> uh, uh, no, I mean, you take them one at a time. But I guess you think back on that and you, you take it one step at a time. I know that's cliche, but um, and I think our guys really did a good job with that. Our coaching staff tried to keep them even keeled. And, you know, the most emotional time and, and time we, we probably thought about it was game 22, the home game. And I don't know if, that because it was, if that's because it was game 22 and, and the chance to go perfect and from a regular season, but that it was our, our last home game for our seniors in, on, on our court. And uh, it was really emotional. And that was a, that was a tough game for us. Um, because of a lot of that stuff, uh, let alone trying to finish the season out, conference champs, and then to go 22-0. That was Columbus Grove? Columbus Grove, yeah, yeah game ahead went, went overtime. Yeah, I mean, Damian, you guys had a lot of easy victories, but there were some tough ones, uh, particularly, you know, play, playing Wayne Trace three times in one season, that, that can't be easy, as, as close as those two as you guys are with those guys and, and how well you know them, but to, to face them three times in one year, that, that final time in the regional championship game, that that would be something tremendous. Yeah, I mean, we've been grow we've grown up playing those guys, and we always have great battles over there. Started in like third and fourth grade up at the Y, and they always we always gave them our best shot, and they gave us their best shot as well. And uh, yeah, that's something. That first one, that was a crazy one over there with <laughs> Colby shot halfway down. I mean, I thought it was over. I thought we've lost it there, but luckily that one popped out. And then our second one, that was just. A, a great game that's probably I'd say that's probably the best game we played all year I mean just defensively and offensively we we just were hitting shots and we were playing out of our minds defensively and then that third one up and up at BG that was that was one of the loudest games I've ever been in up there um, that was just great to play against them one more time I mean two schools separated by about 10 miles and 
everybody from each community coming out to see that game. It was, it was extremely loud and just a great environment to play in. And those kids are just, they're just tough kids. I mean, Colby and all the, the rest of those guys, those seniors, they've left their mark on the Wayne Trace Athletic Program, as have we at Crestview. It's just been, we've just had a great history with them, and i get, got to give them a ton of respect for what they've done. Coming up through BG, did that help you guys prepare to, to play at the Schottenstein Center, playing in a, a college arena in the regional tournament, then going to the, the big stage? Yeah, I'd say it definitely helped. Um, our baseball, we played at Huntington Park, so last year we were kind of, whoa, shell-shocked <laughs> from that. But BG, yeah, I mean, I don't think we were really just astounded by it. We just kind of, like Coach just said, enjoyed, we enjoyed the moment. I mean, just seeing everybody out there for us and just seeing all the red, white, and blue, it just, it just kind of made it really neat for us, a neat experience for us that, once again, we'll never forget that. I mean, playing in that, that place is awesome. I mean, just seeing the whole thing and then in the shot, it's just, it's just an awesome experience. Coach, was there ever a game in the postseason where you were genuinely nervous about the outcome? I mean, you had confidence in your guys, but you were thinking, this, is, this might not go our way. Well, other than every one. Yeah. Every one. <laughs> every one. Again, you know, looking back, you think about the last two years, and, you know, we were able to get to the districts, and, and you know, we didn't, we didn't pan out for us. You know, ran into a really good St. Henry team two years in a row, and with the change-up of divisions and, and the change-up of some sectional and and district and regional sites, you know, when that information came out, um, you know, you, you look at things from a little bit different perspective because we, we knew that wasn't going to happen. We knew one thing for sure. We, we weren't going to run into St. Henry. So you, you don't know what the course of the games are going to play out. But, you know, really, when, you, when we had that rematch with Grove just, you know, like 10 days right. later, um, I thought the way that we had finished that game up, uh, you know, the, the, last, the last regular season game that I, I thought it was good actually to play them again right away. Um, I think we, we have a lot of respect for them and they played very well. But I, I thought our kids just set the tone right now right. In, in that game and um, just really played well uh, in a stretch of, of time and, um, you know, so to speak, kind of sent the message right away that um, we maybe were going to be able to get through the districts this year and, and then go from there. At the state tournament, tremendous third quarter against Tri-Village, even better third quarter against St. Thomas Aquinas. So my right. question is, the key to the state championship, was it halftime adjustments or your red shirt? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a toss up. It could be the red shirt. Um, hey, you, you know, we, we kept it pretty simple at halftime. Um, it really wasn't a, a major X and O adjustment thing. It was just a an attitude mentality thing and re reaffirmed our guys that we're okay we can do this we we can play better we can do things better let's let's go do it and boy did they ever did that halftime saturday night feel eerily similar to the halftime thursday or was it a different feel it was i'd say definitely a different feel uh, <laughs> he got coach got a little more intense on thursday night um but saturday night yeah he was extremely calm just he just came in and wrote toughness on the board and just Talked about us being, I mean, seniors, we have, our six, we have 16 minutes left at high school basketball. I mean, we might as well make the most of it. And I think uh, we, didn't, we didn't really talk about it as seniors, but we, I think that kind of hit home with us. I mean, we better step it up if we want to get this gold trophy back to Convoy. And we did. We set the tone with our defense, and that's what we've done all year long. Just defensively, we got stops got our easy buckets, and then before we knew it, we were up 19 like that. Yeah, held St. Thomas Aquinas just three points in that third quarter. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll talk to two more of the Crestview seniors as they are state champions on this Raker Home Improvement State Championship Night Show. Welcome back to our regular Home Improvement Crestview Night State Championship Recap Show. Tyson Bolenbaugh, avoiding baseball, we understand. He's going <laughs> to stick to the hardwood. Cam Etzler will be getting ready for baseball here momentarily. But Cam, just uh, take us through that last quarter. It seemed to drag on. If we were, I was watching here at the station. Finally, the buzzer sounded. You guys were state champions. Uh, I mean, it, it's probably one of the longest quarters that we had played this year. That's, I think, just with foul, foul situations and uh, knowing what that last, those last few seconds would feel like. Um, but 
Um, I mean, I think it was just pure enjoyment. I think we were all soaking it up, realizing we were going to be state champs after these last six minutes or so. Um, but, I mean, I think uh, that was probably when, after about that third quarter buzzer going into the fourth, I think that's when uh, it kind of really like hit us like, we, we have this, we just have to finish it out strong. Tyson, we saw you down in the post, and you, with your wingspan, you play much taller than what you actually are. And I think at one point during that semifinal game, Coach Best kind of said, Tyson, you can score at any point. How confident were you going into that state tournament game, both the semifinal and the championship game? Uh, the semifinal, it was, I was not bad until I kind of bricked that one my first <laughs> shot. That kind of hurt me a little bit. <laughs> But, uh, you know, coach, at halftime, coach said, you know, we're going to keep coming to you and we know you can, you know, we, we know you can contribute to our team. And, you know, that really gave me the confidence to come out in the second half and score. Seeing new teams in, in the state semifinals and finals after seeing Wayne Trace three times and a number of teams leading up, is that kind of, was that fresh for you? You were excited to scout a new team and learn about uh, a team like Tri-Village? I think it definitely was more exciting than playing the same teams over and over again. It was kind of maybe a little bit scary because we didn't really know what was going to happen and we know that we hadn't played them. We know we didn't really know what they brought, and, but it was definitely exciting to get a, a new look from them. Cam, after the game Saturday, we talked to Coach Best about how much you and, and Tyson and Damian meant to this program. What does Coach Best mean to you? Oh, uh, you can't put it into words. I mean, he's obviously done so much for us over our four years and even two years before that with junior high stuff and uh, even going as far back as uh, many nights on Saturday mornings. But I mean, uh, he obviously has brought out the best in us and brought out the best in this team. Uh, I, mean, I don't think I've met anyone that's wanted to win as bad as him. He is, he is one of the fiercest competitors I've ever met. If uh, if during some of those games, if there was an extra jersey, I wouldn't have been surprised if he would have <laughs> put it on, strapped up, and went out there with us. But, uh, I mean, uh, just not only from a basketball standpoint, but um, knowing how to deal with day-to-day -day life and uh, dealing with tough situations. I mean, he's always his door is always open, and uh, it, it goes beyond basketball what his impact is. Speaking of the coaching staff, Tony Springer, someone you said has kind of been a mentor, a role mm -hmm. model to you. First year coach and wins the state yeah. championship. He thinks it's easy now. Oh, yeah. I, he's, he said our Wilkin Hone, he was going to call it quiz, go out on top. <laughs> but um, obviously, uh, he's, he's been through, um, obviously, basketball and baseball. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's obviously he's going to help us for baseball, too. He's going to be assistant for uh, Coach Wharton, too. Um, but I think him being in a situation where he kind of struggled, like I remember his senior year pretty well, where uh, they, they were kind of struggling with getting some wins and uh, putting pieces together. I think that uh, him adding that extra experience to our coaching staff just improved it even more. Um, it was already very high caliber, but adding him just made it even better because uh, he had been in some situations that not most of us uh, had been through with um, not being on as successful teams because like uh, Tyson and I and uh, Damian too we had been on um, extremely successful teams like going through junior high and then going into uh, JV basketball and then obviously our, our first two varsity years but I think it only helped us. Tyson you guys beat LCC during the regular season obviously they went on to win a state title they won their game right after your guys won your game we talked to them about this earlier you guys shared a kind of neat moment in between those two games. Uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. When we were coming in, you know, they were lined up on the sides of our locker room, giving us high fives, saying, hey, good job. Martise was actually uh, videotaping our celebration <laughs> a little bit, and, uh, you know, we know him pretty well from AU and other stuff, but it was pretty cool to see them support us. Is there one moment that you're going to remember forever from that state championship weekend, whether it's an interaction with somebody or, or the clock going zero, you know, something that'll stick out right away 20 years from now? Uh, it might have been when coach kicked us out of the hot tub when we just got in <laughs> after our uh, after our Thursday night game we all wanted to get in the hot tub so we got in as soon as we got in we we're like he said there's pizza ready and we we're like dang it <laughs> you know <laughs> so that was probably the most memorable moment is that what you're thinking too Cam you started no laughing. well I, I didn't know what he was gonna say I, I had a few. honestly like I, I don't it might not have anything to do with basketball just the amount of fun that we had off on and off the basketball court i mean uh this group of guys i mean it's we're just a bunch of kids that like to screw around always in an appropriate manner <laughs> but um we just we love to have fun we always have a blast around each other and uh obviously it helped a little bit more that we were bringing home some gold 
Crestview Knights, your 2014 undefeated state champions. Not many people can say they had an undefeated basketball season. But that's what the Knights did this past season. That's going to do it for us tonight on the Rager Home Improvement Crestview State Championship Show. I'd like to thank all of our guests. For Andy Lynch, I'm Mark Kuntz. We'll see you next time on WOSN.